Hi, I recommend The World's Worst Teachers. It's a book full of short stories, as you know, you've probably already read it, but it's full of short stories and it's full of horrid, disgusting, mean and some like rather quite funny teachers as well. Um, so you've got teachers like uh, Miss Spick's Trike of Terror, Mr. Pence's Balls, Mr. and Mrs. Lovey Dovey and the Sea of Tears. But the story that I recommend is Dr. Dread and the Chair of a Thousand Farts. So it's not really like a normal story that you're coming across. It's a bit of a horror story with a lot of comic and comedy effects in it too. Um, and if you get nightmares from it too, I'm, I'm not going to take any blame for it. It's entirely your fault as you've chosen to read it. Um, and Dr. Dredd is like this most horrifying, disgusting teacher ever because he's part man, he's half man and half monster. Uh, he taught science and always wore the same white lab coat and you can see that on the front cover of that story. Except it hadn't been white for years, I think even centuries even says in the story because he never, ever, ever washed it. So there are things like egg, blood, custard, and even snot, and there's loads more on it too. So much it takes an entire page, and you can see the colours that it changes too. It's pretty disgusting. Uh, but that isn't the worst thing about him though. Uh, the most horrifying thing about him is his farts, his bottom burps, and they're that foul and disgusting and revolting that you can actually see them. You can actually see the gas. How disgusting. And the chair in which he sits in in his science room is called the chair of a thousand farts. And he uses it as one of his punishments for any of the children, any pupils who dare to do anything wrong. And he puts the children into that chair as part of the perfect punishment until he comes across one pupil who you find in the story. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I did. And I thought it was a real tummy tickler. And I thought it was very, very funny. I'll let you make your own judgment of it too. Take care. Bye.